You got this as a 10 news alert on your phone this afternoon. An alligator snaps at a diver at a golf course in Charlotte County. It happened at the Rotunda Golf and Country Club at the Palms course. Just minutes ago, the 10 foot gator was hit with a bow and arrow and trappers are now pulling it to land. As you can see right there, 10 news reporter Isabel Mascarenas went to that golf course. She says the diver survived. Golfers know when they hit one in the water. And if you hit a ball in the water, you just don't go after it. That's all. Simple as that, but you're not supposed to hit balls in the water. But golfers do, and contracted divers scoop them out. Scott Lahodic has been diving for golf balls for 30 years. Today, a gator, this gator, according to the general manager at the Palms Course in Rotunda, attacked Lahodic in this lake off the sixth hole. Just above the elbow. Um, I, I don't know, kind of tore down a little bit, I would say. Charlotte County EMS says the diver fought for his life against that gator you see right there in the lake. He managed to get his arm free from the gator's mouth, drive down to the clubhouse and call 911. He couldn't say much. No, he was in pain. So it was very serious. Uh, the alligator had a hold of him pretty good. It was probably an eight or 10 foot alligator. Life in this large lake for the gator? Well, it's over. FWC called a trapper. If it's an uh, aggressive alligator, then the trapper, that's the first one he usually grabs. And the eight to 10 foot alligator will be relocated. The is he shouldn't be in the water. That's for the gators. In Rotunda, Isabel Mascarenas, 10 News. We wanted to put this in perspective for you, so we pulled some facts from FWC on gator attacks. From 1948 to 2016, 24 people were killed by a gator. That's 24 people in 68 years. In that same time, there were 263 bites that required more medical care than just first aid, and there were 125 bites that didn't require any treatment or just first aid.